All right, so we're back to stream some more Keyforge today. Uh, did some this yesterday afternoon a little bit before I had to run out, uh, but we are back. Uh, hate everyone watching us live here on Twitch, and thanks to everyone watching this in the future on YouTube. Uh, if you don't know, we have a Twitch channel. It is in the description below. Head on over there. Uh, that's where I'm going to play some live streaming. I do some of it here on YouTube too, but uh, you can check it all out uh, at Twitch too. I'll be streaming there, so follow us there. Subscribe to us here. You know, all that jazz. A link for everything's in the description below. Twitch, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching and following. We're going to be doing this live here. Uh, we're doing... We're going to focus on this deck today in the stream. Stranger's Circuit, the Cat Burglar Scammer. So this deck I did take to um, the Gen Con Archon Vault Tour. This is a deck that I played there. I went 4-2. and two. Spoiler right there. Uh, narrowly lost in a time uh, on one of my games uh, to tiebreakers, uh, which kind of sucked. So I just missed the cut. But hey, I had fun playing. I didn't. I did better than I expected, bringing an Age of Ascension deck that I only played a couple times before going. So I wasn't too prepared for it. I went mainly to enjoy Gen Con and film some games for you guys, which you may have seen uh, posted on YouTube. So I do uh, commentary voiceovers for KeyForge games, uh, travel to tournaments every now and then, and kind of record them and. And do some voiceovers. So that stuff's all linked below here on Twitch. You can get on over to the YouTube channel there and watch all that stuff. Uh, but anyways, yeah, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, all right. So uh, let's look at the deck here. So actually, let's look at it over on Dex of Keyforge where there's numbers and stuff. Uh, so we got 80 sass on this guy. Looks like it used to be an 81, but things are dropping, I guess, as uh, results come in from other tournaments. Uh, I don't know why this is there. Whoops. Oh, come on. Go back. Okay. That's better. All right. So uh, this deck has two upgrades, 13 actions, five artifacts, 16 creatures. Uh, all right. Let's see here. So the arc is 65. Amber control, it's uh, only 6.5, 18 unexpected amber. Board control uh, for artifacts, sorry. It's got a poltergeist, which is always juicy. Uh, the reason why this is a uh, Grump Buggy deck. So I'm stalling. I'm stalling, making keys cost a lot for my opponent while I get my stuff together and hopefully kind of eke out a win in time. And funny thing is, only that one game went to time at Gen Con, and it wasn't because I was playing slow. Uh, my opponent was playing pretty slow, taking quite a bit of time between turns. Uh, it was a little frustrating because I was trying to play really fast because I know this deck's a stall deck. And trying to make sure I never went to time. But it was only that one game. And it was very frustrating. Because I was trying to play quickly so we didn't go to time. And yeah, almost was perfect on the day for that. Um, but anyways, yeah, we'll play it here uh, more casually. I haven't played it since Gen Con. Um, and actually, I did play it on here the other day uh, in a game. I tried it out. But uh, other than that, I haven't really played it since Gen Con too seriously. Um, but today we're going to we're gonna play a little warm-up with it, and then we'll uh, see if we can play some competitive games here and do some good work with it. Uh, so, interesting stuff. Uh, it has 13 Amber, which is not the greatest, but it's something. Uh, it's got the Project Director and uh, Researcher of the little ZYX uh, suite. It has double memory chip in Logos, which is awesome. The Intermensural Graft is cool if you can archive it and kind of set it up. So you're making your opponent's keys cost more. Uh, and then you can do tricky stuff like um, when they actually go really high to try to get around it or they blow up the board, uh, you can drop an intermental graft on them hopefully um, before they go next turn and forge for like six or seven or whatever. Uh, you can scoop the rest if you can get that all set up. It doesn't always work out that way, but uh, with a lot of the archive here, double memory chip, the director, uh, we got Jar Google that can kind of get it going. If he gets hit by the opponent, it, it can pop it back. Um, and the cool thing, you can sometimes do intermental graft if you get it all working together. You can do it on uh, like using the, um, uh, what is it? The project guy. Yeah, project. He can pull it out of the archive. So sometimes you can have it stuffed in there and eventually like if he can get it going, sometimes you can pull it out if you need to. Uh, you can do some other cute stuff like hiding bronze key imps and silver key imps in the archives and then pulling them out with the uh, the uh, dire uh, the project uh, ZYX uh, on a Logos turn. we got Lash in there to help us slow things down. Poltergeist, I can pop my own Grump Buggy if I need to and get it off the board if I'm having trouble, if my opponent has big bodies on the board. I also have a 
uh, unlocked gateway to blow up the board. That's another way to kind of reset if needed. I got pretty pretty good amount of big bodies. Uh, I don't know if there's an easy way to see that in here. But you see 78 is my strength. Oh, there we can see. So we got Bramo, Drummernaut, Foozle, Groke. Um... Uh, Blood of the Titans helps get another guy up above five, so we'll count that. Uh, we got Gub, who, when he's not on a flank, I mean, sometimes he's only a one. Uh, five. Uh, and we also have uh, Project and Titan Mechanics. That's like 11... 11 bodies that can make my opponent's keys cost more. So it's a pretty good count uh, when I was looking at my other Grump Buggy decks to kind of make them uh, a little more a little more powerful so you can kind of stall the keys easier. Um, the other thing is backup copies in here to work with um, uh, Drummer Knot. And Drummer Knot with Bramo is pretty juicy. Also, if you can get War Grumpus helping Drummer Knot trigger a few more times, kind of cool. Grok also works good with the War Grumpus. Uh, so you can get a couple of attacks out of him sometimes on a turn. Gauntlet of Command, that helps with that whole Drummer Knot, Bramo business. We also have Exhum to get Drummer Knot back. We have Exhum to pull out Bronze and Silver Key Imps, which can also help stall our opponent out uh, when they're trying to forge their first or second key, especially when I get that key before them, which is very rare uh, to get my first key first, unless I get Grump Buggy locked down and some bodies on the board to kind of slow them down. Sometimes I get that first key through and then slap down a uh, Bronze Key Imp to stall them on their first key. But more often than not, it's usually the uh, Silver Key Imp that I'm using to stall them on their second key um, just to like catch up kind of thing, so that can help keep the game kind of in check a little bit. But they usually can get rid of that off the board pretty easy. I don't have much ways to protect them. Um, but yeah, this is going to be playing. It's it's just a fun deck. It's a goofy deck. I, I don't know. But it did okay at Gen Con. So it's kinda, I kind of thought it'd be okay to use it against like the meta of like Coda with like fast decks and lots of stealing and stuff. It makes it harder for them to forge. Um, and then I have big dudes, so I can kind of like fight their guys pretty easy and kind of keep my board around. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, this is the deck we're going to try today. And uh, who's our first... Victim. No, I'm just joking. Uh, QST. Oh, okay. So let's see. Oh, normal games, casual, competitive, no reversal, no seal, no beginner. Only show new games. Okay. I guess. Uh, I don't know if I should jump into a competitive right to start. I feel kind of bad. My opponent is not going to get the testing he's probably looking for. But I'll wait a couple seconds here and see if, if we can get... Uh, oh, there we go. Let's try this casual game. I clicked, so it was like a delay. Always a delay. I don't know what's happening here. I smell a refresh. Sometimes I find this site like it's kind of buggy, even in a game, as long as you just gotta like refresh the, the window. Yeah, this game's disappeared. All right, whatever, let's go competitive. I have no decks. Oh, okay, there we go. So there it is. Added it recently, so it's there. Uh, all right. Is he gonna start the game? Yeah, he started the game, all right, cool. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's start the game. And load our images. Okay, so uh, I'm going second. Four blue cards means that's probably good to just keep that. Uh, I can get the project out there already. Research smoke, maybe blow them up, start the archive train. And, oh, and the other thing is with logos, with the archiving, uh, gets kind of that card advantage, gets you through your deck quicker. Also has a sound the horns, which can be a little tricky. Sometimes you play it early just to start plowing through your deck, but you might discard your grump buggy. So, but then hopefully if it discarded enough, you'll get to it. So it's like kind of iffy. So yeah, I, it's, yeah, it's very situational. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You too. I don't know why I didn't type out the word too, but hey. <laughs> Let's keep the hand. That's what I'm trying to get at. All right. Uh, Lash of Broken Dreams. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look at his list. Please don't say Grump Buggy. Please don't say Grump Buggy. No, it looks like a Coda deck. Uh, all right. It's got some finishing blow. No, too much to protect. So that's kind of good. 
you also have to be careful with that when the key cost is being raised. Um, I wish I had it in my deck, um, but I don't. Uh, but that can be a good one. Okay, so we're going a low ghost, of course. Uh, how do we want to do this? Do we want Titan Mechanic on the flank? Do we care? I don't think we care right now. So let's play him. Let's play this guy. Uh, let's throw him on the right. So if he's destroyed, we can put him back on the top of the deck, but we also can archive the card and get him back again. Uh, I don't think so. I think I like using this backup copy to kind of keep around like important bigger characters so I can get them back fast and on the board. Uh, so I'll probably throw that on the project. It's got one armor. That's nice. Okay. And our turn. Okay. So our opponent also has, well, he's, we're waiting for him. He's got Coward's End and Loot the Bodies. Oh, that's going to be rough. And he's got some big guys like Mugwump, Smash, Grump, Bumpsy. That, <laughs> that might be a little harsh for a Grumpuggy deck, but <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, this could be a pretty rough game. Uh, he's got a Rise, Control the Weak, Creeping Oblivion. Oh, man. Uh, does he have any Artifact Control? I don't see Poltergeist. I think we're okay there. So he's dropping in a Mighty Javelin, a Smash. And we see... What did he do? Oh, we archived the top of a card of our, our, our deck, which was a Banish. Banish on a Smash is not cool because he just comes back later and stuns you again. Uh, so he angered there. Oh, okay, he angered to do, to do that, to get the research smoke and he stunned my um, project. Grumpuggy's right there in hand. I think we start with that. We can stun Smash. Throw War Grumpus out there, which is definitely fodder for this Javelin. But that seems like a thing. So let's do that. Uh, so let's not take our... Mm, yeah, no, we don't want to take... Uh, we don't want to go dis yet to play Scullion. Uh, even though we have Exhumed to get back whatever he kills. We'll just uh, go Brobner here. Uh, let's stun this guy. Throw a War Grumpus on the left of the Titan Mechanic. Maybe make him a more juicy target. Throw out Grump Buggy and end the turn. Nice and straightforward. Three Ember already. Not bad, not bad. Uh, our keys do cost plus one now because of this smash. And he's got that Lash, which if I can find my Poltergeist, that sounds like a good target for that. Also, this Mighty Javelin would be a good target for that. What else does he have? Um, he's got Dominator Bobble, which is good for that. Uh, what has he got? Seeker Needle. Skeleton Key. Skeleton Key is pretty good. Sometimes that's can get you out of a jam to capture an Amber and destroy it. All right, so Shred's coming in saying, I'll take all that Amber. Control the Weak, making me play Brobnar again. Uh, that's okay. I got Bramo. I mean, I'd rather play something else like this, but hey, got two banishes. That'd be sweet. But I mean, these guys are both coming to play effects. And what's he putting? A flame wreath on Charette. Get some plus two power and Azure just two. That's okay. That is okay. So how can we do this? We can throw Bramo in first, and then we can ready and fight with him right after using War Grumpus. And he can finish off this guy. Oh, what's he doing here? Yeah, there's the Mighty Javelin. Got rid of the War Grumpus. I knew it. I knew you'd do that. So he's at four. Yeah, so I mean, that doesn't work out. So yeah, he's making my... Yeah, it makes sense to do that because he's making my uh, Brobnar turn more crappy by getting rid of a creature. I really wish I'd played this. Bring him back. It's okay, though. So we're going Brobnar. Let's not take our archives. Let's play Bramo. Boom. And end the turn. So that was a good control the week. He only has one though, that's good. And I don't see any way of recurring it. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that coward's end and loot the bodies. That's uh, gonna be rough. That's uh, gonna be rough. I think he has like the answers for this deck. He's got big bodies. He's got the lash to slow me down to make keys cost more for me too. 
and he's got the board wipe gaining the amber off of it. So like after he board wipes, his keys become cheap anyway. So like if I can see my intermensional graph, that'd be a great time to launch that, right? Like to, to play that. So here you go, Succubus, Charette's gonna reap, and that's it. Okay, so interestingly, how do we do this here? See so if I get the, okay, so I can go Logos. He's at five only. His keys are costing a plus two right now. Um, so I can wait. This cool thing is a cutthroat research in this deck since I raise key cost. Uh, I can actually scoop some steel with it off Amber if they get an eight or higher. So that's kind of cool. So I might hold on to the Logos turn just for that. But memory chip early to start archiving, but I've seen Grump Buggy, so I feel okay. I don't feel like I need to like rush through the deck, but I gotta get rid of some of this stuff out of my hands that's not big creatures so that I'll have big creatures if a board wipe happens. So Exhum could help for after the fact, but I probably should use it now to get this War Grumpus back in play. It's a problem playing Scully and he's gonna destroy someone. Oh, Brammo, and then I can Exhum Brammo back in. And that will kill this guy and put two on the Succubus. Mm. Banishing Succubus is okay, but that's fine. All right, so let's do this. Apologize to my opponent. Uh, all right, so let's take our archives. Okay, so first things first, let's play this guy on the right. Right. And he's going to destroy Bramo. And then we're going to... You know what? Let's get rid of Succubus right now. Put him back in the archives. That way when Bramo comes in, he's actually going to finish off these two jokers. And let's throw him on the right. Oh, I forgot he has plus two on this. Damn it. All right, should I just get Shret? Uh, putting Shret in the archives is not a good idea. <laughs> okay, so, but as then as archives, what does it have in it? Succubus, yeah, I'll just go Dis and we'll see Succubus back and this guy back, but at least he has no Flame Wreath on him. And it forces him to go Dis next turn. Uh, should we do that? No. Yeah, let's do it. Because we get an amber out of it. Screw it. It gets rid of the flame wreath. So when I fight into him, I can kill him easier next time. That is fine. And we're at six with check. So this guy's like forced. It's like kind of like I'm controlling the weak. But I'm making his disc turn pretty good by giving him two discards back. But then again, he's, they're not in play. He can't reap with them. So I think it's pretty good. So let's, let's watch him go disc here for sure. For sure. He's not going quick enough though. Shadows, uh-oh, wow. So he's got like a single steel. That's basically, or more than that. He's probably got a few. So he's just going to steal to keep me off a key. He's okay not going to yet. All right, what's he going to do here with his shadows? Uh, Nerf Blast, there's the steel. Does two damage to Titan Mechanic. And Titan Mechanic's finishing blow and he's gone. Ah, that's an interesting target. Skeleton Key. Bad Penny. Okay. He's got something. I guess Bad Penny putting her out. He's got uh, Seeker Needle in the deck. So maybe he's hoping to get that going soon. Other than that, I think it's just going to clog his hand. All right. So now we have options. We have one of each in play. I mean, this guy's stunned. His keys are raised by two right now. He's at that magical eight. I might as well go Logos. I have a bunch of Logos in hand. I can steal with Cutthroat Research. Interdimensional Graph, though. I want to archive that. I do not want to play that. So I'm actually going to hold it or put it under Jar Google. Uh, no, I'm just going to hold it. I think it's safer. I put out the memory chip. That'll help me archive a card on the next turn. Play this to steal. Jar Google. We're going to play him on the right. 
And let's just throw Tremor under him. I don't want to put the unlock gateway. I mean, that would be funny to like fight with him and then blow up the board, but I think I'd rather just put Tremor under there. It'd be a little safe. It'll get put in the archives probably when he fights him. So I'll probably just reap which our Google. Unless I do need to stun. I mean, that's cool to have that in the pocket there. So it's a little safer, I think. Uh, and then we will remove a stun here. All right. Let's end the turn. We're going to save the interdimensional graft. Hoping he doesn't mind barb me. Does he have mind barb? I don't see it. Uh, yeah, I don't see any hand. Destruction quickly looking. No, I think we're okay. I just got to be careful with the creeping oblivion. Like he's going to pop something out of here. Oh, surprise. They're back. Dominator bobble. So I got my poltergeist. So I can use that to destroy the Lash. Probably still the most threat. Make his keys cost more. Still not raising my key costs. All these guys are less. I mean, that, that uh, attachment on Charette, that's also another argument. He was raising my key cost. Uh, if I can get to my first key before he can and see one, like my little bronze key, that'll be funny. Okay, Michael Logos here just so I can drop a second memory chip and archive this interdimensional graft. Because he's not forging yet. And I can make a juicier this turn, next turn. Yeah, let's just be safe. Actually, uh, Gub, Steel, Unlock Gateway, I could throw that away. I haven't seen any of his Bromnar guys yet. They're coming though. They are coming. Uh, it's going to reduce. I need to get rid of Succubus. I need to get rid of Succubus so I can fight with this guy and play a card. Uh, then I could play like Schuler or Gub for my archives. Hmm. Logos archive a card to play with project. Yeah, I was thinking that. That's what I'm thinking right now is... um is putting a uh, Schuler or, or like Gub in there or Poltergeist. I kind of, I kind of might be getting greedy saving the Poltergeist, trying to do it when like it can stall him on a key. But I mean, I could just destroy it now so I don't have to deal with it. And I have two guys in place so they can reap. Yeah, let's just do the logo setup play here. Okay, so let's archive. Uh, Schuler, I think is better. Yeah, we'll archive Schuler. Because uh, we can't really give a neighbor to Gub right now. And I don't want to put him out yet. I mean, we could have left that together, right? But that's fine. Okay. So let's do uh, memory chip for sure. We're not going to check our archives. We're going to do memory chip play. Uh, this guy is going to fight here. And we'll play Schuler on the right, I guess. Steals one. Uh, this guy. I'll save the tremor. I'll just reap. Puts me to only six. Yeah, maybe I should have destroyed the lash. Yeah, it was dumb. Yeah, I'll just reap here. Go to check again. He'll he'll go dis. Kind of like force him into that. But he'll get to use like bad penny and this guy to reap, which is fine. I'm okay with him going up in amber. Uh, so maybe it wasn't the best. I probably should have done the poltergeist. Okay, interesting. This researcher is very powerful. I can use it to like do an interdimensional graph, then get it right back and put it in my archives. I've done that a few times. So I get like the first key I get to scoop, and then I have it ready in my archives again to get enough off their second key. I can scoop sometimes a few amber. And sometimes it's like, like I'll win games. If I get one good interdimensional graph off, like I always, it's like I'm always working towards that because I like, I'll for sure win those games usually. Uh, Smash coming in. Here we go. The Brobnar boys are coming. He is going to stun somebody. Probably the project would be smart. The other thing with this, if I still have Schuler and the Scullion in play, I can use those guys to fight to clean up Brobnar junk, like Mugwump. And he's already played an Anger. I think he only has one, hopefully. 
Yeah, only one anger. I'm assuming he's not going to wipe the board right now. But he still has another... He has a couple bumpsies, couple another smash at least. Okay, we got to get rid of Mugwump. He's annoying. Okay, so what we got? The silver key up to stop the second key from being forged. So, let's go dis, I think. I see, we haven't even forged the first key. So, I can, I can put that guy out, not worry. Let's go... I think we go dis here. Yeah, let's just go dis. Uh, so Schuler. So these guys are raising my key cost. I could trade here, but I think I want to get rid of the charrette. Just to get all that amber. Mm, nah, I just hold it. That's fine. Let's just fight. Oh, but then it keeps him on the board, raising his key cost and being annoying. And then he'll fight him. So like, I don't have to worry. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make him fight me. That's fine. Uh, but we're going to get rid of first uh, Mugwump because he will be trouble getting bigger. Um, so let's throw out Gub. And let's throw out this guy to make Gub become six and increase key costs. Let's get rid of Lash. And we're going to discard this uh, unlock gateway. I feel like the Brobner bodies are going to be under control for a bit. And I only have 12 cards left in my deck. I got lots on the board. So oh, he's going to wipe me soon, though, and I'll, I'll wish I kept it because then he'll wipe me and then play a whole bunch of Brobner bodies. But I'm going to discard it. I could archive it. I've done that before and held it until, like, really necessary. But uh, I, I'm, I think I'm going to just keep plowing through the deck. And the turn. Feels pretty good. All right, looks like we got a Brobner turn coming. Possibly, depending on what happens here. By the way, Ice Crobra, thanks for joining again. I appreciate it. <laughs> How are you doing today? And somebody else. Somebody else is in there too. I see two viewers. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see here. He's a Looter Goblin. Smash to stun Gub. Okay, that's interesting. I like Looter Goblin. He's pretty awesome. I have him in a couple of my awesome uh, Coda decks. For the remainder of the turn after he reaps, you can gain one Anna each time an enemy creature is destroyed. He's elusive, so he kind of can stick around sometimes. After you build up a big Brobnar board, and man, you can go pretty crazy with him sometimes. Okay. So that's that. So I got my first key, which is sweet. I still don't see the Bronze Key Imp anywhere. Well, this guy's not forging anytime soon. Uh, archiving two cards here. Playing stuff with the project, still a thing. But he's stunned, so that's not happening yet. Looter guy, yeah, he's fun, he is fun. All right, uh, so I'd say we just do Brobnar. Let's build up the board. We got some Relentless Assault. Sound the horns. I can get through my deck quicker there, too. Uh, just grab another Brobnar body, which would probably be... Um, it's the girl that raises the, um, or gets the, oh, Drummer Knot's still coming. Foozle. Foozle's who I was thinking of. But yeah, I forgot Drummer Knot still, still has a main appearance. We still have Bramo, so maybe we can get that going. All right, yeah, let's let's have some fun with that. Okay, so let's go Brobnar. Let's throw out the Gauntlet of Command. Let's throw this guy out on the right. Let's keep another neighbor for Gub in case. Um... Okay, let's do, let's see who we get from Save the Horn, or Sound the Horn, sorry. Not Drummer Now, we got Fuzo. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Relentless Assault. So let's first reap with Bramo, or we fight in, I think we fight in, hold on, let's see. I think we do it here. This guy can take, uh, he would die. Gub, uh, we can get rid of Gub stun and the project stun using Relentless Assault. But I think it's more fun to make him lose Amber off Grok. Maybe Scullion we're okay with. Hmm. Yeah, and then we finish off with a Foozle on a bad penny. No. Yeah, we won't have an empty board, so we can't use Foozle to reap. She'll have to fight, so we don't want to do that. Okay. So let's just hmm, let's do 
Assault to unstun, protect, fight with Jerga Ghoul for stun. I was thinking of that, but I, I like to get rid of these five big bodies. So I'm just going to let's just do Bramo on the Looter Goblin. Probably should have did Bad Penny. Send her back to hand. So that's Elusive gone. So Relentless Assault, play. So we're going to get rid of the stun on the project for sure. Then we are going to fight into Bad Penny with Bramo, who won't take anything back because he's got armor. And then let's just do Groke in to finish the Looter Goblin to also make him lose an Amber and get rid of that annoying creature off the board. So done. So then we'll go, we said Unstun, which I hope it got that. And then Bad Penny, then Looter Goblin. Yeah, perfect. And I think we're done. That seems good. <laughs> Fighting with Jar Google, I know it's funny. But I, I thought he would build a bigger Brobnar board and like I would need to stun that. But like I'm not so worried about smashes. I kind of want him to fight into my stuff so his stuff gets destroyed. And he kind of like does it to himself. Because you, you can't just leave. Like maybe he's just hoping he gets that loot the body's going. He's going shadows. He's going shadows. Bad Penny's back. Surprise. Naughty the Thief. Nexus. Ooh. You can use Gauntlet of Command. That's it. That's not too bad. And Skeleton Key to Capture. Oh, I got my bronze key imp. <laughs> so that's going to troll him a bit. But he's not even close to getting a key here, so I don't know. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's kind of big. Until he wipes the board, this is like kind of like pretty pretty locked. Let's see here. Got to speed it up, though. Uh, I think we just go logos. What do we got the most of here? We can reap, 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 re-stun. Play this. Get this out into play. Can lash me with his nexus, so maybe I don't go disc there. Could play Brobnar, but I haven't seen. Come on, where's that? The drummer knots hiding in the last two cards of the deck. So I'm gonna go Logos. Oh, maybe I can get drummer knot off a of project. Yes, let's do this. Logos. We're gonna archive these two. Maybe I'll archive Blow the Titan so I have something to play. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Then we are going to Director. Uh, no, we're not going to take archives. Director over here. I saw him a little late. This guy over here. And he will do top card of the deck. Who do we get? Do we get him? Yeah, we got the drummer not in there. All right. <laughs> So let's have some fun. All right, here we go. Let's go. Uh, oh, we'll just return a guy back to hand. So it's not as cool because I can't play it right back out. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll get Bramble back out next turn. All right, so let's do a... How do we want to do this? I feel like fighting the Nexus. I have no other fight, though. Let's just reap. Um... Get Drummer Knot on the left. I see he's going to wipe the board soon, but that's okay. Let's get Bremo back. Yeah, I'm not doing it all in the right order here. Like I said, I'm a little rusty with this deck, but uh, let's see here. This guy, actually. Let's do a fight and stun all the shadows. Mm. Or we can fight Bad Penny. Oh, I forgot. I should have fought someone he actually would die on. That was stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah, I should have just fallen into a smash like I originally was thinking. Uh, okay, that's fine. We're still good. Sloppy plays, sloppy plays. End the turn. Uh, what else do I have? Am I missing something? Oh, interdimensional graph. No, we're not going to play that. Yeah. Where, where's his like, big burst here? I don't think he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to do it. Oh, yes, this big burst is off to loot the bodies and the um, loot the bodies and Coward's End that he still has yet to see, which I'm sure that's going to line up soon. He's still got 11 cards left in his deck. So has he got it yet? Because, like, this is just screaming, like, reset the board to him. Like, he's just hoping to get it, right? And that's why holding that bronze key to I think is pretty good. So I guess our, our achievement here is to try to make him forge zero keys. Let's we'll see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, he's in a little bit of a pickle here deciding on what he's going to play next 
assuming I didn't leave because I was playing super slow. He didn't leave, did he? No. Oh, he's just taking his time. That's fine. Take your time. That's okay. I should have been saying that I was thinking when I was taking my time there. Poor, poor crucible etiquette on my part. Coward's End isn't even that good right now with five wounded guys on your side. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's what he's staring at right now. You are right, actually. I, I wasn't doing that on purpose. Uh, having all the little damage on my guys is pretty good. Good point, Ice Cobra. Good point. <laughs> He's playing a Shaffles. Okay. He's looking at keeping a board then and just hurting me on Amber. Buying time. Dominator Bobble to use Nexus to use Gauntlet of Command to then use a Smash, I'm sure. Then fight into somebody. I gotta take this project off the board, but it just puts them on top of my deck. Which is kind of funny. Oh, I gotta get rid of this silver key imp at some point too, because it's gonna hurt me from making my second key. I've done that before and left that out and totally forgot. And when I went to forge, I had to like wait a turn. Arise to get Charette and Succubus back. Okay. Man, I don't know. It's too bad he's not getting his like reset first and then be able to bring the guys back. But I mean, who knows? He made this game's not going any any anytime soon. So let's see here. Okay, so is that six? It's not forging. Okay, we got the War Grumpus Bramo. Uh. We've got no other guys, Bromnar, in our discard, or in our deck. So playing Sound the Horns just really gets us through the deck, puts everything in the discard. I don't have Exhum in hand, which would be kind of cool if that's how that worked, but I don't, I, I can't play it on that turn anyway. Uh, let's go Dis for fun. Shenanigans. Okay. So, let's see here. Oh yeah, this has been used. That kind of sucks. Okay. So let's go War Grumpus. Uh, do we take our archives? Blood of the Titans is a thing. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get Blood of the Titans. So let's do Sound the Horns. Play this. Just gets through the deck, rips the deck. That's fine. Um, okay, we'll play this guy on the left. Let's play the Blood of the Titans on the War Grumpus. And let's play... Bramo out to the left. Okay, so he does two damage on the flanks. So let's do Groke. He's going to fight into. We got Elusive on Naughty, Elusive on Nexus, I could do to keep him around. But I also could take out Shaffles and keep him going to. Two. Yeah, let's just do Shaffles. Okay, so someone's been destroyed, so we can do this little reap ability to get some extra amber. All right, so let's do a reap with the drummer knot. No, let's do a fight. Again, preparing for this eventual coward's end. <laughs> I don't want him to stop me from drawing cards. Yeah, let's just do it there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's return Bramo. And Bramo, guess what? He's back. Kills the charrette. Uh, and that's all I'm doing on that turn. Normally the Gauntlet of Command and the War Grumpus, but we just got them out. So it's going to take another turn of setup there, but that's fine. Gotta hurry before he wipes the board. Get, get that whole combo off where I just go crazy with the drummer knot and the Bramo, the War Grumpus. Seeker Needle. Okay, he's going to Shadows. Bad Penny. What's she gonna do? Uh, 
Oh, just playing Bad Penny, sorry. Use the skeleton key to capture one, placing it on Nexus. Okay. So he's increasing my key cost by two right now with both smashes on the board. Is this director not working correctly? At the start of your turn, archive the top card of your deck. Oh, it's because I didn't have... Did I have a deck? Uh, I don't know. I feel like that didn't go off yet at all. But I did take my archive, so maybe it did. I don't know. Might not be working correctly. We'll see if it works this time. So we'll Gauntlet of Command. He's using it again. Oh, I had Exhumed Archived. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I missed that. I guess I could have scrolled up to see. Okay, so use my Gauntlet again. This is annoying. <laughs> okay, there's my lucky way. It worked. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right. So we need to get rid of Nexus. He can't stick around. Uh... There's the silver or the bronze key imp. That's funny. Okay, so we need to get rid of silver key imp. Let's set that up. Let's do that. So we'll go dis. Uh, we are going to play the lash. No, we're gonna leave the unlock gateway in the archives. Play the lash. Play the silver key imp on the right. Uh, let's do unstun here. Let's play. Schuler is going to fight into the smash. Then we're going to fight this guy into the other smash. And this guy, I forgot. I should be fighting Stupid Nexus. And I have one guy left to fight. I talk and then I totally forget. My short term memory is great. Uh, let's just fight into. Or no, let's just reap. Reap with this guy. Uh, then we'll play Exhum, and we'll bring back Schuler, and we'll put him on the I don't know left. Sure. Uh, and then we're going to end our turn. Yeah, that Nexus is annoying. It's just he's going to use it on my lash this turn, which will leave me open for my bra. Oh, here's Brobnar. Here's Brobnar. Here we go. Here we go. It'll get rid of his nexus at least. That'd be nice. If he if he wipes the board. There it is. Loot the bodies. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. There it is. All right. So here's where <laughs> he's at 13. So my key, I'm increasing his key cost right now by one, two, three, four. So that's 10 key costs. Hmm. So if I go logos on purpose. I kill both. Uh, I can only kill this one guy. Okay. Graft incoming. You know it. This is what I was waiting for. Where I was waiting to take it so long. Kind of wish I didn't have damage on some of these bigger guys, so it'd make his keys even cheaper. So how do I? How do I do this? So is there a tricky way? No, I don't think I can do it on another turn. Uh, okay, so let's just do logos. Uh, let's archive. Oh, I got cutthroat also. Oh, it's okay. This is okay. Let's just do the graph for fun. Let's just archive poltergeist and a punch. Let's just put that in the pocket. All right. So let's not take our archives. Uh, okay. So let's do jar Google will reap. This guy will graft. Um, let's lab work. Cutthroat research, sure. Let's play this guy. And this guy, let's just fight. Make your keys a little cheaper so I get more amber. So one, two, three. I'm increasing his cost, so they're nine, so I'll get four. Eh, it's not the best, but still awesome. And I think we're good. Oh, surprise. I drew projects out of wax again. <laughs> All right, he's going shadows. Oh, he's going to be able to keep me off key. Steal one with Urchin. Oh, yeah, you can capture. Steal. Miasma. Okay, that, that'll that keep me off a key for a turn. That's all. <laughs> that'll do it. And Nerve Blast. Steal another one.
Oh yeah, the Not Finished With You is another awesome card when you see it late after a whole bunch of your guys have been board wiped and you pull all your big bodies back into the deck and the deck's not too big. That is an, another awesome card to have in this deck. It's, it's This deck's synergies are really cool. Like really cool little nuances in it. Uh, okay. So you can only have one bad penny. I don't know why I just didn't do Dragoogle. But whatever. Uh, so he's at four. So he did get a key out of it all. So, I mean, you had to let that happen, right? To do that. So, yeah, it's all good. I could have tried to stop it and probably kept him off a key without using the graft and just not worry about it. Uh, okay. So, mm -hmm. oh, plus I had Lash too. Lash. Hmm. Uh, feel like logos. Yeah, let's just go logos. Seems okay. Uh, let's archive this and this. Okay, so let's put this guy. No, I'm not gonna take my archives. Play this guy over here, and this guy, oh, let's do him on the left. We're okay with uh, keeping this guy on the flank. Okay, and let's do, couple reaps, and end the turn. I'm at eight. He's at four. Let's go in this. What does he get? Charette. We got a Charette coming back. Hand of this. Pop Scully and Creeping Oblivion. What's he going to purge? Only one thing in the discard. So it's like very bad Creeping Oblivion. At least he gets an Amber off it. Oh, Purge is my Scully. And surprise, surprise. That's fine. <laughs> It's not, it's like one of the worst in the deck. He's kind of annoying because like I don't want to always play him at the right time, but he does help me pop away my little bronze key imp or silver key imp when I need them to get out of my way. So it's kind of cool when that, that can happen, especially if you can exhum him in sometimes. Very flexible. So he's actually really good. Unless he's the only creature in my hand, then I have none on the board, then that sucks. I won. GG. All right. So that's, uh, that was cool. All right, so one and oh, one and oh. All right, let's see if we can find a competitive. Actually, I can make a competitive, right? Probably get wrecked, but that's okay. Competitive, normal, start, right? Select the deck and await. Oh, dark flop, he's here. Mm -hmm. Start. I have a double sculling in my buggy deck with the recursion suite. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, start the game. Let's do a hi. Good luck. Have fun. Oops. <laughs> he knows what I meant. He knows. She knows. Whoever knows. Yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay, let's do... Ooh, look at all this juiciness. Yeah, let's keep... We'll go Brobnar this time. I mean, I'd like to do the Logos, but maybe I'll draw into some Logos and could slap down a memory chip nice and quick. Oh, this feels good getting the memory chips early. Witch of the Wilds, get out of here. Games can be lost by leaving that thing on the board too long. I know from experience... I first played against that, didn't even know what it did, and like at a casual tournament, was like, whoops, totally ignored it. It's a witch. Anything with a witch, you gotta kill. Uh, witch trait. All right, so let's throw this down. Sure, stun. Witch of the Wilds, sure. Uh, there's no reason to play this in the other order. Just more clicks. So we'll just do that. End the turn. All right. See if we can rip this a little quicker. 
but also make less mistakes. That's always the goal. Play faster with less mistakes. Got Grumpuggy in hand, though. Oh, Gorm of Ohm, though. Oh, that's rough. Uh, double, triple Mind Barb, though. Oh, Control the Weak, Key Hammer. Man, Control the Weaks all day. All day. Cleansing Wave. Got to watch out for that. Two Gorm of Ohms. Oh, man. Lost in the Woods, two of them. That's going to help him uh, keep the key costs in check. <laughs> okay. Nocturnal maneuvers, my guys, there. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. This is going to be another rough one here. Uh, he's just going to blow through that stuff. But, I mean, he's going to do it anyway, so let's just throw it down. Maybe he'll keep the Grump Buggy because he knows he's got big guys, too. Kind of. One big guy, I guess, really. How do I do this? I feel like putting it down. I just worry he's going to mind barb it. That would suck, too. At least I don't get the amber off it that way. Maybe I can bait with the memory chips. But I, I know he's already looked at my deck list. And he's, he's waiting for it. Uh, all right. How do we want to do this? Logos only gets two cards in a hand because I'll keep the graft. Uh, yeah. Let's do, oh, the graft is pretty unsafe, though. Let's do it, though. This could really bite me. Uh, uh, uh. uh. Yep, and the turn. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, Scullion with the uh, Smoko is a good little combo, too. He's going dis. Oh, no, my barbs. He got an exhum. That's pretty bad. Not the worst. Another mine barb. Gets rid of banish. That I'm fine with. I'm fine with banish. Those aren't my favorite uh, removal cards. They're great with like upgrades on guys. Those will be great against Star Alliance coming up. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, Nocturnal Maneuver to exhaust my whole board. And Glorm of Ohm to pop the gauntlet. Okay, but he knows he's got another one coming. All right, so I think look at my hand here. Destroyed. I think we just go Brobnar. Blow the Titans on Groke. That seems good. He's got four Amber. It's kind of like a little bit of a stall. Could also make the Reacher Smoke go above five, so he's hurting. He can also fight, which is good. Uh, but I feel like Big Groke is funnier. He's not fighting me because these guys are so big. So let's do this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't have not done that. Because that's Scullion. That's fine. Yeah. We'll see. Well, I can <laughs> relentless, relentless Assault with the smoke. It would be funny. Uh, okay. All right. Let's go on Sanctum. Oh, Gorma Volm comes out. Look at this guy. Right away, he gets it again. Damn. So now we got to get through our deck fast. Hope we can get that sound the horns and just plow through. Would be nice. But I'll probably hit a Brobnar guy pretty quick because I don't have a lot of them yet. Gotta get rid of that Witch of the Wilds. Gotta get rid of it. Hectrix to reap, Ezekiel to reap. Play one untamed card. Does he have one? Does he have an untamed? Oh, Lost in the Woods may be coming. He's got regrowth, save the pack, Nepenthe, Dew Fairy, Giant Sloth. Oh, Niffle Ape. Okay, he's got some good untamed guys that are good against this Grump Buggy stuff. Lost in the Woods, here we go. Lost in the Woods. Ah. Sure, he'll throw back Ezekiel. Maybe Protectrix. Yep. Keep Sequus out. Oh, gets rid of my Smoko and my Groke. I shuffle back in. Okay. Not the drummer, not obviously. So now what? 
Do I just wipe the board? Like, is that a thing? Oh, yes. I could save my grump buggy. No. I would do this, which would destroy an artifact, which would have to destroy my memory chip. But, like, you do what you got to do, right? Yeah, let's do that. And then unlock gateway. Like, this, like, I'm just fed up with that. That's got to go. Yeah. Get three cards out of hand. Let's do it. Not the best, but. All right, let's do this. Play. Boom. Boom. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's scullion. I mean, it just doesn't matter really. Sure. <laughs> Swan him out of hand. I could have just discarded him, but that's that's funnier. All right, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Uh, dark flop. All that stands is a grump buggy. So there's the sound of the horns. It's like getting getting through my deck quicker is good. He's already played two mind barbs, so I feel kind of okay holding the the international graph right now. Oh, he already got a key. I'm not even paying attention to his amber. So worried about the board. So bad. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Protectrix is back. All right, so can shuffle creatures back in. But all it is is Drummer Knot and Scullion. I mean, that's not the worst, but that's only playing one card. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's see. I'm screwed here. I got no, no dudes. No dudes. Uh, let's just get the Logos cards out of hand, I guess. I guess, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Oh, I guess I could have grabbed a guy with Brobnar. Probably should have did that. Uh, whatever. I'll just go with it. Uh, let's see here. Play this. Play that. Do I just pop the graph now? No. It's, it's kind of key. It's hard holding it, though. Yep. Yeah. Or I could have went this, did the not finish with you, shuffle back in the drum or not, then do the sound of the horns, maybe get lucky and get him back on the next turn. But at least I drew into a Brobnar guy, so that's helpful. Just don't mind bar me again. You discard the key hammer, smart. Okay, uh, let's go Brobnar. Let's do, yeah, Brammo against this guy is annoying. That's okay. Let's actually see who we get with Sound the Horns. Rogue. Okay. That's good with Relentless Assault. We can get rid of this guy. All right. So let's do that. Let's do Brammo. Let's do Grok. And let's do Relentless Assault. Uh, so we'll do this guy, then this guy. Done. Fighting into this guy, then this guy. Yeah, probably should have did it the other way. No, it still would have, yeah, still only one guy left. That's fine, except for Grok stays around and makes him lose an Amber. Yeah, deck's being weird, or I'm just playing it weird. Got Grump Buggy though, but he's got what he needs to. I mean, I wiped the board really, but I'm a little too slow at it too. Um, yeah, I feel dumb that he got that first key. I was not paying attention. Probably shouldn't have wiped the board there when I did. But, all right, we got Bulwark. Love that guy. Ezekiel, reading and fighting, getting rid of Grok. Yep. Hollow Blaster, healing up Bulwark. Nice. Yeah, this guy's just got the jump on me on the board. But I mean, while he's doing that, he's not really getting Amber, so that's fine. Maybe I'll throw out some other guys for him to fight. Yeah, he'll take out Gub super quick here. 
but let's do that. That's fine. So let's do not finish with you. Uh, let's get drummer not Bramo. Bronze camp's pointless. And this guy's pretty good. Who got discarded earlier. So then I could play my graft and get it right back, possibly. Mm, yeah. It's all about the Brobners, though. I really should. Yeah, that's fine. It's one card, right? Okay, done. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right, this guy will come down. Schuler not stealing anything, but he's a five strength, a five power body in this deck, which is good for Grump Buggy. So I'm not gonna complain, just putting him on the board. But it is uh, they can't kill him; they have to both attack him. But because of their juicy armor, they will not die, and then they can just heal with Hollow Blaster. Oh, I did not click end my turn. So bad. So we got Jar Google. There's Bramo back. Okay, sorry. Uh, Sigil of Brotherhood. Oh, wow. Okay. He's got good artifacts in this deck, I think. It's pretty decent. Like, at least in the Sanctum. I mean, Hollow Blaster's kind of mad, but I mean, it's working for him here. How do we want to do this? Oh, I got my first key. Sweet. Okay. Um... Let's go Logos. Uh, let's get Interdimensional Graphs stored away. Uh, so he, Gub survived. I guess he just reaped. Uh, okay. Let's get backup copy on... Uh, oh no, we don't want to take our archives. Uh, backup copy on Schuler's always great. Uh, Jar Google. On the left, we give Gub a neighbor. Uh, let's hide. Uh, let's throw, I guess, War Grumpus. Bramble. Let's throw Bramble in there. Whatever. I mean, maybe that's not smart when I draw into Drummer Knot in a second. <laughs> uh, let's throw this guy on the left. And that's that. All right, some more logos coming. There's my researcher coming back. So his keys are cost is increased by two right now. So it's at eight. He's not increasing mine right now. There's the silver key imp. That's gonna be, that could be interesting. Nepent seed, full moon. Oh, this guy could grab Witch of the Wilds back again at some point. Lost in the woods. Uh, Niflite. Giant Sloth is here. Well, this guy, I hate this guy. I gotta take care of him. Cannot use this card unless you've discarded an untamed, untamed card from your hand this turn. Fight into this guy. Bramble comes in for two. And then Director. No, that doesn't work. Trying to figure out how to get rid of this guy. I guess just Gub into him. Gets one off Full Moon, off Niflape and Giant Sloth. He's up to five. But his keys cost plus two, so they are eight right now. Pop the Sigil Brotherhood, so he's going to use the Sanctum guys. And they're just going to reap. So he's up to seven. But like I said, his keys cost eight. So what else has he got? Save the pack. Uh, oh, he just discarded that. Okay. Yeah, because no one has damage on them, so it makes sense to hold it. Okay, so... Uh, I want to do this. 
Drummer not in the archives. Off of the director. Ah, oh, of course. And Bram <laughs> Bramwell's hiding under there. <laughs> okay, let's do... How do I want to do this? Is there... No, I don't have Relentless or anything. I could fight with Jar Google not on his turn. Yeah, let's just go logos. Um, I think we'll just archive the top card of the deck. So let's archive. I guess just throw Brobnar stuff in there. Sure. Okay, so uh, this guy is going to fight into somebody him into I feel like giant sloth uh, we're not gonna take our archives nope okay let's do Could also get your Google back off the top into the archives which is kind of cool yeah let's do that okay so let's do fight into the sloth. Uh, which flank do you want to place your creature on? Let's throw him on the left. Boom, two damage to the flanks, but armor blocks on the right. Mm, director, he wants to just stay. Reap. Uh, let's do this guy over here on the right. Uh, let's do uh, think deck. Yeah, let's do the deck. Yes, we got another Robinar shoved in there. That's good. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, let's do project on the right and type mechanic on the right. And I think we are good. So his keys are increased by one, two, three, but then this reduces by one. So it's really only by two still. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, but then reduce. So it's three plus three right now. So it costs him nine for a key the way it stands. He's only increasing mine by one with the giant sloth. Choose the sanctum. He's gonna get to that Gorm of Olms back again. I'm not playing quick enough. I'm not playing quick enough. If I can go Logos again next turn, I think I will. Just to like reap crazy, I gotta do it. And then I can play something out of here. Yeah, where's my gauntlet? He destroyed it, still, still here in the discard. Joe's Sanctum, he's just unsure what to do. If I were to banish somebody, Nephilim, I guess. Bulwark? And then fight into Bulwark's neighbors? Nah. I don't want to put a bulwark out again. Definitely not Ezekiel. I need to kill the sloth. I don't want him coming back. But again, he's got Nep Nepen Seed, so whatever I send in the discard, he could pull it back. He's only got eight cards in the draw left, so he's got to do that soon, I think. So he's fighting Gub. And then Bulwark fights Project ZYX. Put some damage on him. So let's save the pack coming here on Nepen Seed. No, he can't right now. But it's sitting on the top of his discard there. Maybe he's thinking of using it on the next turn. But then his guys have damage on them. So what is he up to? Cleansing Wave. That's what he's up to. Where is it? Yeah, he's got Cleansing Wave right now. 
Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Four amber. Yeah, shoot up an amber, buddy. I'm going Logos next turn. I'll the Intermental Graft. Seems good. Maybe I'll even get rid of a couple of my big dudes there for you. Staunch Knight. Does he have some kind of like inspiration or something to also fight with him? No. Sergeant Z kills over the place, though. There's another one, yeah. <laughs> See, I saw he has three in the list. And then the Cleansing Wave. Okay, so then he had the extra fight. Yeah, wow, nice. 14. <laughs> I smell instrumental graft coming. <laughs> so he heals a bunch of his guys. Oh, that was Cleansing Wave. Then Hollow Blaster, there you go to heal the sloth. Oh, my. <laughs> Sloth's back. All right, maybe I'd get rid of the sloth that way. Okay, 21 Amber he's sitting at. Well, yeah, I just, like, how do you not go Logos? Okay, so let's Archive. Doesn't matter because I'm taking my Archives back, so we'll just do Lab Work, sure. Uh, yes, let's take our Archives. I guess I didn't have to take the Archives. I could have used Project to just play it out of the Archives. Yeah, I know this. I was talking about this before I started playing. Yeah, bad plays. Uh, bad plays. Okay. I just got excited. I guess, yeah. Well, at least I'll archive something else in lab work. Okay, let's think here. How are we going to do this? Well, for sure, we're playing this card. <laughs> he says, oh, no, I made a terrible mistake. Yes, <laughs> you did. <laughs> Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, see, people get frustrated with, like, the the book Grump Buggy, like, increasing key costs. And with the Lash, sometimes they get it going so well that they're just like, ah, and they keep going. And then they just get frustrated. And then I, they forget about the graft. In person, too. Happened at Gen Con almost, a, a, like, multiple matches. I'd pop it off. And they're like, oh, no, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, so let's play this. And we'll archive. I mean, we're going to go Brobnar next. Let's just start throwing disc stuff in there, I think. Or do we go disc next? No, let's just archive disc stuff. I guess, oh, I should archive stuff that I'm going to use with this guy, which a banish is good. Let's do it. Uh, so let's reap here. Play this. Get rid of this guy. Okay. Uh, that's my only guy increasing my key cost too, so that's good. This, I will, uh, let's fight. Well, this guy kind of evens out, so I don't really have to get rid of him. But I do want to fight to get rid of, let's get rid of a six into Bulwark. We get rid of him, right? Two, and then, yeah, let's do that first. Get rid of the armor. This guy will reap, and this guy will reap, and this guy will be played. Oh, that's that was bad. That was bad. I make his keys cost more. Oops, I made a mistake too. That was bad, but I'm at 19 amber now. He's got two keys. So now I just got to hopefully forge quick, keep him off of his third key. So that's going to be the tough part. Uh, that's going to be the tough part. You know what I really should have done there? Was not grafted. Play the silver key imp to force him another turn where maybe he plays a bunch of amber if he still forgets about graft. And then I graft him even harder. But that's that's too greedy. That's too greedy. That's the fun jank you can do with this deck. <laughs> just love fun decks. You, it is a good deck. This is a good deck. I mean, it, it can win a lot of games, but it's just, it's also very fun. It doesn't have shadows too, so that also automatically makes it cool. He forges a key paying 10 amber. <laughs> That's awesome. Choose Dis as their active house. All right, he's got, oh, here comes the Lash. It's back. It's back. I got my Lash still in hand, which I wish that was on the board. I probably should prioritize getting that out there. But also playing uh, three Brobnar guys that are above five or above cost, assuming he doesn't mind Barb a bunch in my hand right now. 
Uh, that's just like playing Lash also. The Terror. Pandemonium. Some mad capture. Here we go. Is it going to be enough to slow me down though? He's going to capture one, two, three, four. Only four. <laughs> That's fine. And I capture his one. He puts on my little researcher. Mind Barb, you got a Groak. Oh, there's one gone. Oh, no. I have no cards left in my deck, too. That's another thing. So I'm not going to be able to archive off the top of my deck from the director this turn. Yeah, he wants to get that lash. So if I forge for plus one right now because of the terror, so I'll forge for seven. I'll still be in check, but then he can lash. So he's going to go disc for sure. So I got to get rid of that terror in play. I wish I could deal with these artifacts too, but they can't. So I think, um, how do we do this? He's only at two amber, so I have to kind of prioritize getting rid of this guy. How can I do that right now? Stunning won't do it. I can't fight with any of these guys yet. I don't have my gauntlet, which is huge to start the train with these guys. Bramo can't do it. Uh, yeah, If he fought, he would die. So then, yeah, then he can't come back in. So I don't think I can go. I have to go this or but then I, I kill. I mean, I guess I put Schuler back on the top of the deck, which is pretty good. And then Gubbs left by himself. Yeah, let's do that. Silver key imp. That's fine. Let's go this. Especially when he brings out the Gorm of Ulm, which will get rid of this grump buggy uh, if that happens in that much time. Good to have a lash there too, I guess. Okay, Schuler is going to fight here. This guy is going to reap. I don't see why I need to fight. I mean, fighting gets rid of a Niffle Ape. After three, yeah, fighting can get rid of a Niffle Ape. Yeah, he doesn't have any Sanctum guys that'll help him capture. So yeah, let's do... Yeah, let's fight into the Niffle. That's fine. Schuler, surprise. Okay. Two keys. I got 10 Amber, he's got two. Does he have a way to get me off? I mean, he's got a, um, a sloth in the archives. That's plus one. That's not enough. Dis, he's going dis. Charettes. Charettes, that's what he's got. Schuler, that'll help. Raises the key cost and steals one. Screaming cave. Oh, wow. I didn't notice he had that. And lash, yeah. So, he's, yeah, he had to go dis. And dominator bobble to use... He's going to use Sergeant Ezekiel. Oh, yeah, he's got to get rid of my five bodies or higher, too. Uh, the most amber I can get, I think, is just by going uh, Logos. I don't need to use. What happened there? Dominator Bobble, he... Oh, he just reaped. So then, Director archived a backup copy. I'm back through my deck. No discard. All right. So I could... Dis, I don't need to use yet, because he's not in check. So I'll save that Schuler play for that time. Um, Barabnar, I could just kind of set that up. Board wipey. He didn't really have any board wipes. I mean, oh, the lost in the woods are a thing, though. So, Brobnar. I could reap with Bramo. 
Return him back to hand on the, the drummer not play. Play him back out. That deals two damage to the flanks. Not really much. But I'm just looking for Amber. But it also sets me up to have bigger guys in play to slow his forge down if he starts doing Lost in the Woods shenanigans. Or I just go Logos and Reap, 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 Reap. But then it leaves me open. I do get to play this too for an Amber. Let's go Brobnar. Let's clear the hand. Uh, so let's do... Okay, let's do a, uh, not take the archives. Let's do a reap. Uh, let's do a drum or not. Play this guy on the left. I'll take this guy back. Let's play war grumpus on the left. Let's play Bramo on the left. Let's play Groke on the left. Foozle on the left. Punch into he's got to go dis so let's just make it more annoying for Schuler and end the turn with 11. my keys only cost seven right now but lash raises him by another three to ten so he's got to get me off and yeah shouldn't do it for him hopefully hopefully he's stuck in that whole like i got a lash but i don't have enough to do And his keys cost plus one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six right now. Not too shabby. And I got my poltergeist back. Oh, I got this. Definitely got this. Gonna blow up that lash. Gonna blow it up good. And then even if he wiped the board, like Grump Buggy, like it makes it easier for me to forge to cut through a research in a hand too to help steal from him if he does somehow burst up off another cleansing wave. He's doing the analysis right now, counting it all out. <laughs> what can he possibly do? Draw into. All right, so it's Gorm of Ulm. Use Ezekiel to reap. Staunch Knight to reap. Staunch Ezekiel to reap. Hollow Blaster. Terms of Redress. Some capture. <laughs> I love it. Oh, he won. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to keep me off. <laughs> I was wondering... If you were going to keep me off a key there. <laughs> yes, you did. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Got uh, caught up in the grump. Buggy frustration. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
that's cool. Thanks for the game. <laughs> oh man. All right, so. All right, I'm just gonna check one thing out here. Uh, I will be right back in a couple minutes. All right, I'm back. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, okay, I guess we'll do the competitive thing again. Quick join, uh, normal competitive start. Select deck. Stranger Circuit, the Cat Burglar Scammer. So another fun story behind this deck at Origins Game Fair 2019. I opened this up in a side event, um, like a, I think, I forget if it was just one deck or this was the sealed one. No, this was a survival, like a three deck survival. Uh, it was when AOA was pretty new. I opened up the three decks. I looked at this one, thought it looked fun. Um, and just played this one to start and it, it went undefeated and I like I went through and won the whole event. It was like twelve or so players. Um, but I played three or four rounds and went undefeated and I won the tournament, so that was kinda cool. Um got a bunch of amber shards. And yeah, then I, I was like, man, it's pretty cool. It did okay. And then I didn't play it for a while, and then right before Gen Con, like the week before I started playing around with it just casually at home and was like, I this deck I gotta look back at it again. Cause I really wanted to take a grump buggy deck, and I had a few of them by that point. Um, so yeah, then this one I just, yeah, played, in, like fell in love with it and just brought it to Gen Con. So, but you're never sure, like in a side event, if it's like those wins are, especially in sealed, right? You're like, eh, is, it, is it really good? Uh, okay, let's see here. Grump buggy in hand. You gotta keep, you gotta keep, but I should probably look at my opponent's deck first. I'm so bad. I never do that. Um, uh, person. Yeah, but, uh, oh, too much to protect. That could hurt. Miasmas that could hurt into too much protect. Two miasmas. He's got a lash of his own. Control the weak. He's got Brabnar. A couple Earthshakers. That could be trouble. All right. Let's see what we got here. Could be trouble just for a reason why key costs off the Grump Buggy. So he starts with the Brabnar. I am also going to start with the Brabnar. And yeah, let's see what we find. We found a Foozle. If he's smart, he'll fight that Foozle ASAP. And that's good. Four cards. Not bad. Well, I mean, the sound of the horns kind of replaces itself. But but I'm getting through the deck. Uh, I only have ten cards left in my deck. Look at that. Look how good I am at drawing cards. It's so amazing. <laughs> Look at all the crap that <laughs> went in my discard. Uh, Poltergeist. Uh, that's kind of sucky, but that's fine. I mean, I only have ten cards left. I'll get around to this stuff again. Ooh, both memory chips are gone. And where's the graft? Is the graft in there? Nope, the graft's still coming. Which is fine. I don't need the graft till later usually anyway. But hopefully it doesn't have creeping oblivion. Nope, we should be good. All right, uh, let's see here. Silver key imp. Could get rid of him right now. I don't really need him. So I could play him, pop him with the Scullion. And then I could uh, not finish with you to shuffle back. Do we have any Brobnars? No, no Brobnars. They're all coming. So I don't need to shuffle any big Brobnars back. I guess Bronski Imp would be the only thing I kind of want to shuffle back to see early if I can get that down after I Forge Key first. But like, I doubt that will happen. He's got a couple Miasmas. What's he got for Steel? Urchin, Dusk Runner. Uh, treasure map. He'll get some amber. Yeah, I think he'll. I think yeah, he's got a couple shoulders, a drumble. He has all these ways to stop me from forging. I, I don't see me forging a key first here, but I have a bunch of discards in hand. So, or yeah, I don't think I go first. Let's make him fight me. This. Uh, all right. So let's do silver key imp play. I also could get the silver key imp shuffle back in. But I don't really want to be shuffling like little guys back in my deck. Okay, destroy this guy. Not finished with you. Okay. Oh, Schuler back in there is good. Tight mechanics okay. He's big. 
Director would be awesome. Yeah. But I'm like going to draw into so much Brobner in a second. I honestly don't. Uh, yeah, let's not get greedy. Maybe just keep Schuler. But where's my lash? Is my lash in here? No, my lash is coming still too. Yeah, let's just do Schuler only. Let's just stick to the game plan. Bigger bodies. He's got his lash out already. Look at this guy. Uh, and we'll end the turn. And there's Schuler. Look at that. Right there. Perfect. Oh, see if I would have shuffled the logos back in. Maybe would have got some other. I mean, now I'm going to have the logos turn coming here. But yeah, you know, I got Brobner bodies coming. I got Bramo, Ganger Chieftain, uh, War Grumpus, Grok. No, Grok's in play already. Uh, feared back the Scullion, controlled the weak, forced me to go dis. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Trying to make me play my sculling again and be annoying. Uh, that kind of sucks. Shuler fight into Foozle. Yeah, that sucks. I need to keep those Brobnars on the board. So I go Dis. Uh, Shuler does nothing right now. But who would be better to have on the board? I think Scullion still, right? So let's just play Schuler. Sucks that he came here just to literally die from Scullion. <laughs> oh, that was, that was sucky. I definitely shouldn't have shuffled him back in the deck. But I mean, he allowed me to play my Scullion again. So, I mean, yeah, you can look at it good both ways. Smash, stuns the Scullion. Headhunter. Earthshaker. Yo, Mama, Mastery against Taunt, Crump. Look at these Bromnar boys. He's going to keep this Grump buggy out all day. Uh, I don't want to do this. Let's go, Logos. <laughs> There's a lot of beef on this battlefield. Yes, there is. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's go Logos. All right, let's play this guy on the right. Let's backup copy on him. Jar Google, play him on the right. Uh, let's go... Think banish, yeah, that's good. And the turn, all right. There's graft. Sorry, did he have mind barbs or not? No, no mind barbs. I think we're okay. I was looking when I look at people's deck list at Gen Con. I was, was like, does he have the hand destruction? Because that changes everything. Or or artifact, uh, that's uh, gotta watch out with that. Don't store your intermental graft in your discard or in your archives. I mean, on that case. Uh, uses Crump to make. Rob's giving me some losing Amber. Yep, yep, yep. Rip my board up. See, like, what can I do? I need, I need the uh, board wipe. Is that my discard? Oh uh, yeah, it is. Unlock gateway. I need to get that back asap, which might take a while. Yeah. See, I'm not forging a key first. No way. So I think I graft him here. But I only get two Amber. Is there a way I can slow him down one more turn? He's at eight. Keys cost seven for him right now. Can make them cost eight nine with the titans on the bramo yeah let's just go brobnar we can keep him off a key another turn unless i'm doing that wrong okay bramo coming in once uh archives oh it's banished it's face down oh because uh my buddy came back yeah that's fine let's just yeah maybe we can exhume grok in the future too all right, let's do this. Bramo, uh, sorry, no artifacts. Let's do Gauntlet. Bramo, play to the right. See a Crump. Or Shaker's going to die in a second. Play this creature. Right, let's return this guy. Play this guy. Boom, Earthshaker's gone. Headhunter is one away from dying. Sweet. Play this on Bramo. 
Yeah, I gotta keep them off a of key, right? It's very temporary, but I can fight with Bramo first and then bounce them back. Yeah, so I like to put the Blood of the Titans on a smaller guy, like uh, the War Grumpus would have been cool, but where were you, buddy? Miasma. Whatever. Plays over the Amber, gets a Shadow Self on the board. Oh, that's another guy making. So his keys are, uh, he's at 10 Amber, sorry. His keys cost plus three right now, so nine. Gub, if with a neighbor off Exhum, adds another two. So that makes it 11. So let's go Dis. Let's play Lash. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Banish. Okay, so let's Lash play. Um, let's throw this guy beside Scullion. Let's exhume. Uh, he's going for his first key. But so am I. So I shouldn't do the Bronze Key Imp right now. As funny as that is. I think I go Schuler to steal. Well, I want to Groke, but I mean, I think this is a smarter play. Uh, left, right, to get Gub up. Yep, did that correct? That could have been a bad misclick. Banish. Let's get rid of Shadow Self. Kind of force him to go Shadows again. This treasure map guy over here. Um, Scullion will remove his stunt. And that's sadly all I can do. I'm at seven though, but my keys are plus two. So Grump Buggy's stalling me out here. Okay. Oh, there's my memory chips. And I've gone through my deck. Okay. He plays a Shuler, uses the Library of the Dam to archive, plays a Terror. Uh, oh, these guys are all... Look at all these guys increasing my cost. <gasps> How did that get my discard? What just happened there? A fair game. He discards the top card of my deck. And finds nothing. And he discards... Uh, Nexus reveals his hand. Has just Earthshaker. So we both got nothing off his fair game. Oh, that's that's rough right there. But that's okay. Let's uh let's keep pushing. So none of his guys are stunned, so I can't do a cute little one two punch. It's great with Tremor in this deck, but it's hard I don't always get them lined up. So he's at eleven. His keys cost plus one, two, three, four, five right now. So that is eleven. Go dis, increase them by three, of course. I can play this guy out, and that increases it to 12. And that gets all these out of my hand, except for graft. But that's three cards out of hand. Or I start fighting him off with my Brobnar. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go, Brobnar. So, Bramo. First things first. He's fighting with nine power, thanks to Blood of the Titans. So, they're all five, so nothing, no one's better than the other. Let's get the Terror out of here, I guess. Okay. Uh, this guy will fight a Schuler. Uh, I probably should just reap this first one because the War Grumpus is already in fight, right? Uh, I messed that up. That's okay. Let's just get rid of this Shuler. Okay, return this guy back. Okay. Let's do War Grumpus. Play on the right. Bramo. Probably could have did all this in a better order. I could have probably fought another time off the gauntlet with Bramo. No, no, I couldn't have. I don't think so. Even with the armor. Bramo in on the right. So I get rid of one of those guys. Uh, 
Let's fight with this guy into here. And stun here. Meh. Could have probably did that a little more efficiently. And he goes shadows right off the bat. Grabs his archives. Miasma, too much to protect? No, nope, I have not enough amber for that. Oh, Shadow Self was there. So Tooth coming into play ready. And gets, what do you get? Dusk Runner? Yeah, got, oh, Silent Dagger and Dusk Runner. So he's gonna <laughs> hurt, hurt a flank creature uh, for four and steal one. Yeah, he's gotta go. <laughs> Secret Needle to damage Brammo. Gets rid of Brammo. Wow. And Miasma, so I'm not forging. Wow, this is tight. I'm not gonna get that first key. It's gonna take a bit. Oh, he got his first key. Oh, I was dumb. I was dumb. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that. I totally lost sight. I kept, I should have kept my guys. Yeah, that was dumb. All right, that's fine. Okay, let's do... Uh, so, Shadow Cell's protecting this guy. So, this is six. I could, do seven. I could easily take out Shadow Self and then Shuler fight into here. Let's just go this and we will poltergeist his lash uh silver key imp stops the second key play this guy on the left uh let's do So I just increase his key cost by six. There are two lashes. <laughs> End the turn. And I got a silver key imp out. So he's definitely not forging second key right now. Going Bromnar. Loot the bodies. Punch. For three damage on Schuler. Got rid of him. Oh, Gubbs lost his neighbors. He's down to one. Earthshaker. Well, at least he didn't hit Gub. And then he goes up to 10. So his keys are only plus 2 right now. So let's go. Hmm. I'm stunned here. Uh, plus 2. I can make him plus 3. And that's it. Oh, 4. Plus 4 with the Gub. And that puts it to 10. And that's not enough. So I have all these logos cards here. Oh, I'm never gonna get that first key. He's gonna use that against me. Uh, let's just go lash, I guess. Yeah, let's just go dis. It's kind of sucky, but. Throw that guy back. Uh, reap here. Unroof stun. And lash. Ah. Shadows. Yep. Too much to protect. There we go. Yep. That's good though. Go high. And it'll craft you. Nerf blast. Yes. Get rid of my guys. Urchin. Steal one. Yeah. All right, we're going logos. Let's go this guy in here, right? Backup copy, play here, and play this action. End the turn. So I have 14. He's got two keys, though. So I don't see me coming back. I'm going to be paying a lot for my keys. Could have been an argument there to, to pop my grump buggy, but... So he's going dis. Library of the Damned. Got the stun off Schuler. Uh Drumble. Oh my god. I told you I was gonna take me forever to forge that first key. And Bram too? <laughs> oh man. Look at this guy. 
Look at this guy. How do we want to do this? Relentless Assault. Do some stun. I uh, only need to play two cards there. Because then ready and fight with somebody. Or Logos. Uh, Logos, I fight, but he's elusive. Or I could just banish him, but he'll just come back. Banish also get rid of this guy, but again, he'll just come back. Yeah, banish is annoying. Um, I guess just Brobnar. So let's do... Uh, use this card's ability. So let's... I have nothing in the archives. That would have been awesome if I did, though. Burn the Elusive. Uh, Relentless Assault. This guy, this guy. All right, done. And then we'll do Scullion here. And I guess Ember Imp. Okay. Um. And then Tremor here. Okay. Sure. End the turn. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Look at this deck list. I knew I was in trouble <laughs> seeing his, what he had in his deck, man. Oh, like my grump buggy is like making my keys more expensive. So I get 14. But what's the current Amber cost right now for me? What is it? Uh, it doesn't say there, but. Plus one, two, three. So it's nine right now. Follow the leader. For the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature may fight. Of course they can. So he's going to get rid of all of his stuns very easily. That's a nice one for that. Yep, wrecking my board. My board wipe, though. Getting into my discard with the sound of the horns hurt, and then him discarding off the top of my deck with a fair game, that hurt. So I haven't seen my board wipe, but like I would love to have used it now, and another earlier time would have been nice. But it's going to be a while to draw into that. Oh, I got a key. Awesome. How much did it cost me? 11. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. What can we exhume? Nothing really. Schuler, no, doesn't steal me anything yet. Oh, there's that unlock gateway. I want that back. I can get a drummer not into play, but like, it's not the coolest. He is six though, which does help against most of these guys except for Earthshaker. Um, could just go logo, start archiving. Just getting through cards. Yeah, I just, I need to get the board wipe, I think. It's like any chance I have. Uh, let's go logos. And we'll archive. I don't know. Exhum. Banish. Sure. All right, let's play Cutthroat. Uh, not take my archives, no. Play the director who's not going to live more than a round, I'm sure. So this guy can just go Brobnar and replay crazy. And end. Yep. So at least I got four cards out of hand there to draw. I got five left in the deck. I need that unlock gateway, though. Yeah. Bromnar as their active host this turn. Of course you did. Of course you did. What's he got on Crump? Is that Yo Mama Mastery? Yeah, it is. Okay. Punch, gaining an amber. Yeah, of course. Yeah, there's a the director. He's gone just like that. <laughs> and Scullion's gone. 
He's at seven. And am I stuck? I'm stuck in the dis the dis problem. Uh, okay, but if I just play two Brobnar bodies, I can get Grok and Foozle on the board. Gets two cards out of hand. Actually gets me through my deck quicker. Yes, let's do that. Uh, no archives. Sound the horns. Got Grok. Oh yeah, but he was could have been on the top of the deck, so that doesn't really <laughs> do much there. All right, let's play a Foozle. And let's play Grok. And then... Ready and fight. Anyone... I can take out... This guy gets Taunt, right? Yeah, against taunt. I mean, that's probably better that way. A little small, but well, let's just reset. There we go. Oh, I had it zoomed in already. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um. Yeah. So this guy I could fight and kill, but growth goes away. But I need that two fives to increase cost by two. So I can't, I can't, I can't fight. End the turn. Yep, unfortunately. Let's go in shadows. Yeah, it sucks that he's just got the big bodies. He beat me on keeping the board huge. And he's just got those sixes and sevens that are just like out of range. And because of that, he's been able to use my Grump Buggy against me. And he has like good direct damage and stuff. So, okay. So he's at nine. So plus two right now is seven, eight, nine, ten. If I don't put the Titan Mechanic on the flank. Yep. Let's do that. Logos. Archive, archive. Uh, okay, let's do Titan Mechanic first. Uh, let's do Smoko. Jargo, no, 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 Jar Google. Let's do this guy first. Jar Google, you get nothing. Okay. There's the unlock gateway. Oh no, I wish I had something under Jar Google. Mm hmm. Okay, he's going Brobnar. Makes sense. He's got that war chest out too, right? So he can get some extra amber off that two amber he got last time. Oops. Uh, so he's punching. Jar Google, Jar Google's gone, that's fine. Research Smoko, yeah. Archive the top card, which isn't exhume. Or no. Oh, it's all dis all day, so that's all good. Keeps it keeps it consistent. So I can play nine discards. My problem is unlock gateway. It's uh ends the turn. But I can do it on last turn. No, I can't. Oh man, he's got me in a pickle. You see, it's just get the amber. It's just killing me. Okay, so hold on. Let's see here. So it's plus three key cost right now up to nine. So I need f six more. Uh, let's see what we got here. One, two, three more. And the lash. And an exhum, which could lead to foozle. Sure. <laughs> Let's make this guy never get to finish the match. Okay, let's try this. Uh, so we'll go dis. We'll lash. Yes, we'll take our archives. Boom. Let's lash. Let's. Oh, Schuler will help too. Let's get rid of Silent Dagger. 
which is worse, the stealing off smash or the damage off this jerk who can kill my guys and purge them. Mm hmm. Both are bad, but let's break up the Brobnar party. F whoops. Uh, actually, let's do both. You're gone. And where's the other one? Banish. You're gone. Okay. I'll help reduce cost. Um, let's do Gub. To Schuler. Uh, let's do the imp. Oh, uh, maybe I still can. I can exhume Jar Google and put something under him and then Scullion to pop him to play. Lab work, that could help. Put the unlock gateway in my archives. Yeah. That seems fun. Get some amber too. Okay, let's do that. Exhume. Even though it's probably better to put a big body. Well, let's count here. One, two, three, four, five. Plus Scullion is six. Plus this was nine. So it's plus nine right now. Yeah, that's a buffer. But the Foozle will help future. Mm, but the... Yeah, let's just do the lab work. Okay, let's go. Uh, exhume. Play. Jar Google. Uh, on the right, putting a lab work. Uh, then we'll play this guy on the right, getting rid of Jar Google. Uh, archiving unlock gateway. Then we'll play. I'm not finished with you for the amber. We'll shuffle in Foozle. Done. Okay. And I think we're good there. Do we not mess up? Okay. He didn't forge a key because his current cost is 15. He's at 13. Oh, there's the graft, but it's too late because it's key three. <laughs> I wish I had it too much to protect. <laughs> oh, man. That would be... Oh, I wonder if I have actually that in a... And... Um, let's check while we're waiting. My decks. Search cards. Uh, we are going for Grump. And let's add. Is it Grump buggy too much to protect? Am I that lucky? Nope. I do not have that together in a deck. But for Grump buggy, I have six Grump buggy decks. And three of them have shadows. Hmm. So the Lash, Stealer of Souls, yep. Yeah, he's got to keep me off a of key too. But look, he's just popping these big boys back out. Fair game. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, he gets a whole bunch of amber off me. He got three. I only got one off him. Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, okay, let's just play the big body game, I guess. Uh... So hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve is key's cost. Brobnar be no. I have to go dis, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's fifteen. That's still out of range. And I don't have any other steel. I think he's got me. I think he's got me. Yeah, Logos isn't going to help. Let's just go dis. Yeah, that fair game was dirty. I, I like that. All right, let's just go Lash. Uh, let's just do this for fun. Uh, let's cancel. 
reap, 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 GG. Uh oh. Mortavis is raiding us with four. Hey guys, welcome to welcome. Mortavis, you're streaming. Were you streaming earlier? Obviously, I guess with the raid. Hands up is the raid. Hanji BTW. Thanks for joining. <laughs> hey guys. Yep, yeah, just playing some Keyforge here. Uh, all right, we're gonna do another game for sure. Now that you guys raided us, I mean, I was gonna end it right here, but uh, I mean, now that you guys all came, I might as well. All right, let's see here. Okay, what are we gonna do? Let's set up a competitive, I guess. <laughs> Angie BTW completely just ruined me. I feel bad, man. <laughs> she says. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh... <laughs> Angie, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. All right. So let's do uh, competitive. Normal. So, uh, we could do a game. Uh, I could do a game against Angie. Uh, but yeah, we could. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I'm really just impressed with how the deck played and was piloted. That's cool. All right. So, let's, I don't know. We can play another competitive, I guess, here. Uh, let's just, oh, we just missed one here. Let's do a quick join. Uh, so we're playing, we're playing with this deck. Those who just joined, we're playing with this, uh, stranger circuit, the cat burglar scammer deck that I opened in a side event at origins game fair, uh, vault tour. It was like a triad sealed, got this deck played. Uh, I forget it was like three or four rounds. There was like 12 or so players and I was undefeated and won with it. It was the first deck I picked out of the three to play. You had to like pick the order of the decks you're going to play. So it was like, a yeah, survival, right? I think that's the format. Uh, so I won with it. And then Gen Con, I didn't know what to play at Gen Con for the Archon. And I didn't even know if I was going to play in the Archon. But I was there having fun filming games and stuff. So I figured I'd, I'd play. And uh, this was one of like the two decks I brought down to Gen Con. And I thought this one was more fun other than the Coda deck that I had. So I played this at Gen Con, went four and two, uh, narrowly getting missing the cut based on time uh, tiebreakers in a match that went to time. Only match on the day went to the time. And it wasn't because of me. My opponent was playing really slow. Uh, but yeah, it's Grump Buggy. Has the yes the the bronze and silver imps. It's a stall. It's got the the ZYX package. So some fun jank there. Interdimensional grab your keys up, and then I can do things like popping uh, my Grump Buggy with my own. Um, I can do cool stuff if I get it lined up. Very weird situations where I've done in real games in real life, where I had project in play, and I was able to uh, pop my Grump Buggy from a um, Poltergeist in my archives and then pop yeah pop my grump buggy and then play an interdimensional graph so my opponent then is key cost dropped and then i was able to like scoop he went up to like 15 or so amber and i was able to like get all the rest to forge and or like basically get it to enough amber to make it really hard for him to win after that but uh yeah some cool little jank you can do with the double memory chip archiving here uh, cutthroat when they go above you know they got eight or above because of grump buggy i can steal some so that's kind of nice it's a little slow on the amber uh only six and a half on amber control but it's got that poltergeist, which is, I think, key uh, current day. But yeah, so any game down, yeah. But I never went to time. At Gen Con and the Archon uh, Vault Tour, I was always done very quick, usually, except for that game that went to time was a little rough. But uh, yeah, because I just, I, I just played quickly, like because I, I didn't want to keep my opponent playing a long time, but I knew I'd have fun pulling off some of these combos. And so it was fun. So that's what I'm playing with here. So let's just, I don't know, we're just going competitive. Playing a couple couple games in the competitive. And so we'll definitely do at least one more of this game here. Um, so yeah. So we got the game set up. Hopefully someone jumps in. It's been pretty pretty good. There's like 70-something 70, 70 games right now. They seem to be like pretty quick flying. And as I say that, nobody joins, of course. 
if any of you guys watching want to jump in, I see there's nine of you now. I appreciate you guys all being here watching. And Angie, thanks again for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, we can do it right now. We can do it right now. Hold on. Let me let me go back. I'll make a I'll make a game. I'm a little rusty with the crucible, so I apologize. But uh, let me do a new game. Rob's game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, allow spectators. Sure. Uh, game format normal. Sure, we'll call it competitive. <laughs> Uh, let's do password of just one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll start the game. And yeah, so jump on in. And uh, yeah, I trust that you won't watch my stream. I mean, you can just minimize it or whatever, and you can listen to me talk, I guess. But well, actually, probably not a good idea because I'll probably be explaining what I'm doing to the viewers. So yeah, you obviously, yeah, you have to jump out. You know what you're doing. What am I even saying? Yeah, okay, sounds good. Thanks, Angie. All right, so let's select our deck while we're waiting here. All right, so she'll jump out and then we'll get going. Okay. Angie's a rad keyboard streamer from down under i have watched her stream she actually streams like very early in the morning i'm pretty sure right i have turned it on some mornings i put it on while i'm, I'm having a coffee and uh yeah shameless plug yeah no worries no no that's cool i appreciate it. always want to support the community right but yes i put it on sometimes to watch uh so we want to save we don't want to save the password get out of here uh, okay start the game all right, so am I going to get super wrecked here, uh, Mortavis? Is that what's happening? Just going to roll me. I should probably look at the deck. Let me look at the deck. <laughs> you too, of course. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's see here. What do we got? Gateway, Key Hammer, Mind Bar, Pandemonium, Dustin Member Amp. Okay, three Biomatrix backups. What's that all about? Martian Hounds, Orbital Barn, Crystal Cave. Grabber Jammer, Zookeeper. I haven't played against him in a while. Double Hunting Witch, Witch of the Eye, Dust Pixie, Life Web. Okay. Yeah. That's the one that just ruined me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's let's look at our hand here. So we didn't get Grump Buggy to start before red cards. I will keep it. Let's do it. And we'll just drop the Brobnar Bomb. And maybe we can pull. Oh, the problem is Sound the Horns, though. Playing it early. Grump Buggy could go on the discard, and I could be screwed. Ember Imp, of course. Of course! Ugh. Do we just unlock Gateway? But then Poltergeist just goes to waste. Do we have Poltergeist targets? What do we got? Uh, I don't see the usual targets. Ritual to Hunt? I think that's something with like untamed creatures or something. I forget that one. Invasion portal. Oh, Crystal Hive would be awesome with that. Um, <laughs> you're drawing less than two cards? Oh, no. Okay, so let's go. Uh, you got me. Let's just go Brobnar. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's do this guy. And this guy. In turn. Yes. Do we discard punch, actually? Yeah, let's just discard it. And sound the horns. Yeah, let's not get cute. Let's just discard that, too. As much as that would have been awesome to pull another Brobnar guy uh, with the uh, drummer knot right off the bat, we'll just keep it rolling. We didn't draw into any by discarding those, but that's okay. There's Lash. I mean, Lash can get out and help us in... Uh, kind of slow the game down a bit while we get the Grump Puggy into place. Although it's turn, the, I turn one play the Succubus, which they immediately, oh, collared. Oh, okay, sorry, I missed that part of the chat, but yeah, my bad. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Caller, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I skimmed quick. But I love call. Oh, there it is. Yeah, collar subordination is so good. 
Oh, there's a the crystal hive coming. So yeah, she's gonna steal something good. Something good. Okay. So I mean, am I forced to just go Bromnar here? Or I just play, uh, I guess I could wipe Poltergeist and then drop a Lash. Yeah, that's fine. Get rid of Drummer Knot. Not the worst. I can exhume him back later. That's a possibility. Uh, let's just keep flowing through the hand. Okay, so let's do this in the right order, though. Play this artifact. I could also just fight Ember Imp off the Poltergeist, but it destroys my gauntlet. But no, this is better. Play this. Do this. That's fine. Unlock. Get out of here. Uh, what? What just happened? Did I click the wrong? Oh, I didn't mean to discard it. Misclick. Manual mode. Did I? Okay. Uh, thanks. Uh, manual mode off. Click. Oh, uh, oh, am I stopped? What happened there? Why can't I play? Oh, because the Ember Imp. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Cancel. Enter. I'm so dumb. I needed to play. Yeah. Oh, man. Making mistakes all day. Okay. Yeah. I hate when you fast click and you don't have the option to play. Like you got fogified or something and you accidentally like discard the guy because you could like fight or whatever or or shatter sir. What's it called? The storm. The um. Yeah, the uh, logos card that does that. So Mars again. Yeah. So I'm getting hampered here by this. So I gotta. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely goofed up. That's okay. So he's going Mars again anyway. He's getting rid of Crystal Hive. I mean, not the worst. Orbital Bombardment. We got a Zookeeper. So yeah, Unlock Gateway now would be good. <laughs> and what else? Reveal Witch of the Eye. So Witch of the Eye is archived. So let's just... How do you want to do this? Let's go Dis again. Try to do it properly. So we're going to Discard Banish. We'll use this card. We will, uh, should I keep Schuler or discard Schuler? Let's just keep, no, let's discard him. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, she's going untamed here. Which of the eyes come in? probably yeah it's hard you never know like to wipe the board or not and then she's gonna do this to shenanigans taliga oh <laughs> i love taliga decks love it so good okay she's gone to seven there's this ritual to hunt. Omni sacrifice ritual to hunt. For the remainder of the turn, you may use friendly untamed creatures. Well, that seems nice. It's an Omni. She's up to seven. Mm. Man. I'm getting choked here by my deck. Uh, let's just lash. It's not an exciting turn, but use this card's ability. Banish. Let's banish the Witch of the Eye. Yeah. So at least if I keep Groke in hand, I can play him, then Gauntlet Command into her. So she, he, he gets, she gets one Amber off Taliga. But yeah, Taliga's a tough one. And this deck doesn't have a lot of like direct out of hand damage. I gotta like get guys into playing fights. It's just got these banishes, which are like not the best. Oh, 
Mind barb. Memory chip. Okay. That's uh, okay, I guess. Dominator bobble. Succubus. Okay, so he's at eight. Yeah, uh, could steal with the project. So he's gonna have to forge a key here, no matter what. Let's do. Hmm, I guess the Bromner play. Yeah, uh, or steal keys become minus one. So forge for have extra forge for five. No, let's just go Brobnar. Yes, yeah, not see my grump buggy is rough. Uh, let's play this here. Okay, let's play this guy here. Get some amber out of it. Sure. So he loses one off the fight. She loses one, sorry, she loses one. Hmm. There's Bramo. Yeah, it sucks I'm only playing a couple cards a turn, so it's gonna it'll take longer to get to that grump buggy. And by then I'll have lost. Yeah, you know, Lash is kind of holding me in it, but I mean, I'm seeing no other discs, so that's eh, not good. Going untamed. Getting that witch back out of the archives. Yep, of course she's going to do that. Hmm, yep, reap off the dust pixie. Or, oh, I'll move, remove the sun. Sorry, remove the sun. Plays a hunting witch. Here we go. Start the pain train. She's going to just rush me out here before I get the grump buggy built up. Witch of the eye. Okay. Uh, let's do... Fight here. Gotta get the two witches off, right? That's like most important. The hampering from the succubus. Oh, there it is. Grump buggy's there. But is it too late? Too little, too late. Who knows? Sucks that I have no other Bravnar cards to play with it. <laughs> Succubus is doing work. Doing work. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's the caller. <laughs> it was just gonna happen eventually. <laughs> Getting Grok with the uh, the blood of the Titans on it. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> hand of dis. Uh, oh, discards it. Um, yeah, <laughs> Embrim's back. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, I don't know if this is a fair match, but let's see. I haven't seen my cards in like a good order. But I mean, her her control off the uh, like keep my hand smaller is is good. Slowing it down, right, from getting built together. And threats, threats all over the place. Very distracting, like lots of threats. Okay, so she's at three on my three. I'm behind by key. Uh, you had a chance to clear the board last turn. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. 
Let's do. Do I just go logos? And Ember Imp stops, and you're playing a card there. Yeah, this is like a little rough. So I could just get these two boys on the board and then throw away this card. But if I can get rid of this guy or this guy, it'd be good. So hold on, he would get hit back for one. So I could, I could get rid of both of these. Yeah, let's go Bromnar, unfortunately. Play the Grump Buggy. Fight here. Ready this guy. Fight here. Okay, that's fine. And the turn. But like Grump Buggy sucks when I don't have guys out on the board, but Yeah, no. Blood, Groke, fight, Witch of the Eye, fight, Succubus, Bremo for clear. Oh, I did not see that. I did not see that. I was looking for that too, but I, yeah, you're right. You're right. I missed that. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. Also was sick yesterday, so I'm coming off of uh, yeah a day where I was like wiped out. And uh, yeah, so not the brightest plays, of course. But thank you, Ice Cobra. You are always on point. <laughs> I will not argue that. You see the good plays. Uh, okay. Chuff Ape. And what's this? Biomatrix backup on the Dust Pixie. So good. That's good. I like that. Biomatrix backup on Chuff Ape. <laughs> and Evasion Portal. Uh, I like that card. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going Logos no matter what this turn. Uh, stops the second key. That's a good one to pull out. Okay. Hopefully I can draw in some more discs. All right. Let's go Logos. Let's just get some cards out of hand. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's play this. Let's play this guy. Let's play this guy on the right. Yeah, he's killing me. She's killing me in the key cost increase too by having big guys that I'm going to have trouble dealing with. So that's what happened in the last game too. My opponent had like so many sixes and sevens. I just was like overwhelmed. And I, my unlock gateway got uh, thrown in the discard with Sound the Horns and discarded off the top of my deck off a fair game. <laughs> so that was bad. <laughs> oh, man. Like getting worse as the day is going on here. All right. Snuffle Gator, Life Web. Oh, Life Web steal two off three characters. Come on. So bad. So key costs increased by two right now. Actually. Uh, this guy's evening out because he's on the flank. So it's really only increased by one, two, three, four. If I do that, Gub can come out here. I could stop it with the silver camp. So, yeah, I think we got to do that. So let's go Dis. Let's go Lash. Let's go Gub. Let's go Imp. Let's do, I'm not finished with you. Drummer not and Bramo and Schuler all good to get back for now. We need the bodies. We need the bodies. So I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Will I get a key in this game? That is the real question. Probably not. So Chuff Ape. He is the sack and heal him, right? Yeah, you may sacrifice another friendly creature if you do fully heal Chuff Ape. Oh, it's not even Mars creatures. You can just do any creature. I mean, it's Taunt. Ooh, Interdimensional Graft on the second key. That's a thing. She chooses this. She's going to be able to Dominator Bobble somebody. I'm sure get the Chuff Ape stun off. Dust Imp, or use my use the Grok to fight into me. Key Hammer. Okay, discards Key Hammer. I didn't have a key yet, so. 
Hey, one star. How's it going? Thanks for streaming the Vault Tour. I just finally watched the rest of it yesterday uh, over the weekend. I wasn't able to watch it all on the weekend, but I appreciate you streaming that. I know how hard that is to do at a convention, and you did great, by the way. So that was that was awesome. Thanks for the content. Uh, if you guys don't know, go click on the name there. I think you can go over to the Twitch channel, One Star Peep, Five Star Games. Uh, go over and and follow there too for some awesome Keyforge stuff. I'm assuming you guys already all know that, but yeah, <laughs> awesome. All right, so you did the Grok. With the Dominator Bobble to fight Project ZYX. Or she did. Sorry, she did. I I would just say that. like it's Usually faceless people on uh, on Crucible. I'm not used to playing online that often. So I apologize, Angie, when you're watching this later, if I keep saying he. Um, all right. So, key cost. Oh, and board wipe. Board wipe. Off gateway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we gotta go logos. That's uh that has to happen. Let's go and not take the archives, which we got a shuler in there. Off the smoko. Play this guy. Play this guy. Play this. Play this. And play this. To archive that shirt. All right. Oh no! <laughs> you got graft. <laughs> Too late though. All right. So I'm at thirteen, but I mean she's up two keys to zero, so. We will see. We will see. All right. Um, hmm. So now she's going to evaluate her whole hand and deck and discard now and be like, all right, how am I going to get out of this? She's only has two cards left in the deck, so she'll wrap around to some of those big guys again. So let's look at the discard before that happens here. Oh, we'll get the Untamed Annoyance back. Ember Imps back, I'm sure. Gateway. That's a... Good way to get out of the grump buggy problem. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Haha. -ha. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't think she's in trouble. We'll see. But I do got the Brobnar Ganger Chieftain War Grumpus uh, Bramo stuff with the Foozle in hand. That's nice. It's good to see that. And in the archives, what do I have again? Relentless Assault. That could be good against guys like this coming out here. Grabber Jammers. Chuff Apes. And Dominator, what? What? Oh, man. Geezer plus two right now. So I'm going to forge for eight at least. Well, we'll see what we archive off the top of the deck, two off director. That'd be nice if she doesn't destroy him somehow. Does she have any of the ready up stuff for Mars? No, I don't see it. Biomatrix backup on Grabber Jammer. Yeah, that's a good call. That's a good target for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, we're going Bromar. She's at one Amber. It's Forge Key. Only have four left. See, I'm so far behind because she can increase my key cost too off the Grump Buggy. That's the problem. All right, what we get in the archives? We got Relentless Assault, Exhum. Do we want a Relentless Assault right now, though? I mean, we could do some fun stuff with the Bramo. Yeah, sure. Kind of puts us into this next turn for sure, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Well, let's get crazy. Uh, all right. So first things first, Bramo, right? That's you got to start with the Bramo. Okay, Bramo. Put some damage in there. Then I think you put a War Drummer in, right? And you return a Bramo. Then we put a War Grumpus in beside the War Drummer. And we're going to use a War Drummer, I think, to fight here. 
This guy's not going to survive. Okay. Uh, then we throw in Foozle. Let's throw in Brambo. Okay. A little more damage. So we need still eight. No, sorry. Um, we need six damage here to kill the, the Dominator. And we need seven off the Chuff Ape. But I mean, that just puts them in the spot where like they can't fight me. Although this Chuff Ape thing, he can heal himself, but he's still stunned, right? So I have some time. Okay, let's think here. So let's do use this. I'm probably going to mess this up. I'm sorry, Ice Cobra. I'm probably going to mess this up. Oh, the taunt on both sides. Yeah, I messed that up. I messed that up. I said it. I was going to mess it up. So six into the Dominator, right? That will kill him. Sure, that's fine. Do what you got to do. Um, That sucks. That was a big misplay. Okay, let's do Relentless. Uh, play this action. Let's do... Hmm. Can do... Uh, director. Does three. So what do we say? Four off this guy, so we need another seven. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's just, since we screwed up the whole Brobner thing, let's just go uh, this guy first, then this guy, then Foozle. So we're going to fight Chuff Ape, Chuff Ape, and Biomatrix guy here, uh, the Grab Jammer. Yeah. So here, here, and here. Yeah, whatever. I was, wasn't the smartest, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, definitely messed up there. Definitely messed up. Yeah, shouldn't have done the Relentless Assault. Should have left it all on my archives. <laughs> that was when I made the mistake, taking Relentless Assault on my archives. But, I mean, I got rid of those guys off the board. But they still had stuns, so, I mean, I could have waited. And here we go, Hunting Witch Problem. Yeah. Hunting Witch. I have nothing in my deck. Oh, so I better exhume soon. Before I lose my discard. Yeah, I could have brought the drone out back with that. Should have left maybe that stuff intact. Okay, so just cooperative hunting here, getting amber like crazy. The usual untamed stuff. Okay, so let's think this through here. Bramo coming out of the discard. That seems good right now. Right, right, I think so. Sucks that we had nothing on our deck, so this guy didn't bring anything back. Okay, so let's go dis. Uh, let's do this imp for me. Uh, play him on the right. Scullion on the right. Get rid of this guy. Exhum. Bramo. On the left, sure. Schuler on the right. Like this. And done. So I'm at six. She's got nothing increasing my key cost, but she can just throw down a grabber jammer that's in her archives that I that got biomatrix back up. And that can keep me off a of key. At minimum. And if she's got anything five power or higher, Grump Buggy is doing work against me. Of course. All right. Going Mars. Yep. Grab her jammer. Hopefully that's all she's got. So this is discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a Mars creature or run out of cards. So it's basically like Sound the Horns, but grabbing Mars stuff. And got it right away without really discarding anything. There's the grabber jammer. There's the zookeeper. Biomatrix backup. So if I banish it, it's like really just doing the same thing. So that's fine. Uh, okay, let's think here. Uh, 
But Logos. I uh, can't get any amber there. I can get an amber here reaping. I can archive. Uh, I mean, this is okay. This is okay. Scullion can make easy work here, but the elusive on this guy. Maybe I should just fight into this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the banish. Uh, let's go dis. So let's go... No archives. Banish. This guy. Uh, here. Fight here. Fight here. And then lash. Okay, it looks like we're going to be... Hopefully you can go into a Logos turn. I only have one Sixer there, and he's going to be on the flank, so he doesn't really increase the cost. But I got this guy to archive a card off the top of the deck. I can increase key cost by playing Groke and also Blood of the Titans onto, like, Brammo or the um, Director. Nope, they're all gone. Gateway came back. <laughs> Killing me, man. Killing me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, succubus and toxin and pandemonium. Steal some amber or capture some amber. All right, that's okay. So we are able to do the logos thing. Uh, or we could do the groke thing and fight these jerks. But I like getting all these cards out of hand while I can. So let's do that. Let's put groke in the archives off the memory chip. Let's play. No, we don't want our archives. Play. Uh... Let's, let's play this guy. Okay, let's do this so this guy's not on the flank. So let's not play this. Let's... How do I do this? Let's put him out first. Okay. Oh, this guy. Could get lab work. No. Play him on the right. Let's do the deck archive. What did I get? Uh, director. Should have known that because a backup copy. Yep. Um, then we will jar Google play on the left. And that puts lab work underneath, unfortunately. But that's okay. There's drummer not, but Bramo's gone. Meh. Not out of this yet, but I mean, it's looking pretty bad. Uh, Dominator Bobble. I mean, I could use a Dominator Bobble with the Poltergeist. It would be nice. But she will see her Lash, was it, that I blew up before? I mean... No, there's something I blew up. I forget. Maybe not. Or did I blow up my own thing? Caller attaching as a Titan mechanic. <laughs> I love that card, but I, oh man, it's wrecking me right now. <laughs> Dominator bottle to use Titan mechanic. Mm hmm. To reap, key hammer, discarded. Yep. <laughs> Eight. All right. So I think we're forced to go this here, unfortunately. Because. I can only play one six coster. Yep. And she got the, uh, also got the uh, poltergeist, which is horrible. So I can't even use like jar Google to like fight into somebody. All right, we're going this. Let's play this guy. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot about my archives. Mm. No, I don't think it matters because it would only been, oh, but the blood of the Titans. Yeah, I could have went Brobnar. Uh, no, I messed that up. Yeah, I, I forgot about my archives. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm.
That's not a turn you want, but... And it's it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Wait for Angie to come back. Yeah, come back to the stream. Come back. Okay. <laughs> Let me know when you're back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Angie, that was, uh, yeah, you wrecked me. Uh, if you didn't make the mistake of going up in the crazy amber and that whole um, interdimensional graft, I, I mean, I really would have got wrecked there. But, yeah, there was sometimes some goof-ups, if you can see in the chat. Or Ice Cobra, there was a chance where I could wipe the board with the Bramo, and I messed up there. And there's a couple misclicks that I didn't go back on, that I did bad, where I forgot about your taunts and stuff, and kind of, yeah, hey, Angie, hey. But yeah, I definitely, I did a few bad mistakes. If you watch this back later, I'll put this on YouTube, but yeah, I did some, I did some poor mistakes. But you played very well, you were schooling me the whole time, uh, hitting my hand early, like having me uh, hit by that succubus I couldn't get rid of, that I probably should have got rid of better but I, I didn't prioritize it because you're distracting me with your untamed goodness um but yeah just trouble getting that grump buggy going like it took a while to get to that because you're hitting my hand good like keep my hand restricted so my draw was horrible and i was always trying to answer your creatures so it was like very distracting right so i wasn't playing turns where i had like four cards in one house i was too busy playing like one or two cards trying to go after your your creatures so it slowed me down get my grump buggy locked in and then yeah you just yeah the ember in first term is huge yeah, that was a misclick too, where I totally forgot about the Ember Imp, and then I like played two cards by accident. I I knew it was there, and I even I just played it in the wrong order and like forgot about the Ember Imp and messed up after started clicking cards. Yeah, so I was just like, I apologize for not maybe giving you the best run for your money, but uh, that was still fun. That was awesome, and yeah, your deck is cool. Like that, that's pretty sick. Uh, the Ritual of Balance thing's kind of neat with the, the untamed creatures if you don't answer them right, because then you could use like a Hunting Witch on an out of house turn. So I like that, but yeah. Uh, but that, that was cool. That was cool. We'll definitely play. We got to play again in the future for sure. But I do have to end the stream in a few minutes. But yeah, I appreciate all you guys being here and watching. Angie, I appreciate you taking the time to play the game with me. Uh, I definitely watch your stream. Mortavis mentioned after you left uh, that you stream. And you stream in the mornings. Uh, he said you stream from Australia. And I do watch it like the mornings of my time in Eastern. And I'm, I'm just outside of Toronto in Canada. Um, so Eastern time zone here, whatever that is for you. Um, but I do, I do watch you uh, in the morning because uh, you're like the only person streaming some mornings at like 7 a.m. when I'm awake. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, everyone in the chat, follow Angie. Go to go to her her channel and follow her stream for sure. Uh, my stream is making the rounds. <laughs> yes, let's all support each other for sure. Uh, if you guys, whoever's in the chat right now, if you don't follow One Star Peeps, Five Star Games, go follow them. Follow Angie. Uh, go follow my YouTube channel. I that's where I posted all the games from like Gen Con Origins, all the Vault Tour games that I did there with commentary. So if you haven't checked those out, that's what I do. I've been playing LCGs for like five, six, seven years, something like that. Putting all different uh, Fancy Flight games, card game content on my channel, commentating whatever game tickles my fancy at the time. So uh, I'm all into KeyForge now. I've been in it before, like basically since pre-release started. So uh, I'm just getting back into playing on the Crucible. I, I'm not really, I don't really like online card games, but right now it's I, I could do it in the day while my wife's at work, so it's 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 easy. Uh, and obviously, no tournaments are happening in the day for me, so it's cool to play. But I definitely prefer to play in person. Uh, but yeah, we got deck unboxings and stuff on the YouTube channel, so check that out. But yeah, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, that's gonna be it. I will post this on. Obviously, you can watch this back. I think on Twitch, but I will post it on YouTube later. Uh, cut out the little intros and stuff. Uh, so yeah, all the earlier games I played. So I'll be posting my Crucible stuff there, most of it. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and thanks for being here. And thank you. Uh, much appreciated. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles.